Hello and welcome to Today We Craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Christmas tree skirts. You're going to need fabric for the liner and the outer. I'll leave details on exactly how much you need in the description below. You're also going to need 5 metres of bias binding, sewing scissors, a sewing machine and patterns. The pattern comes in two parts and is available to download from todaywecraft.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Start off by folding your fabric in half. Lay your triangular pattern on top and cut out. To make the best use of your fabric, lay your pattern facing in alternate directions. To cut the liner, place your pattern on the fold of the fabric. Measure the top point and then use the pattern to create the desired curve. You should need to move the pattern three times. It should line up with the grey area indicated on your circular pattern. Use this to create the inner curve and cut out. It should create a not quite semicircular piece of fabric. Cut out two of these and place them right sides together before sewing along one side, leaving a one quarter inch seam allowance. You're going to need seven pieces in each fabric, or 14 in total, as well as the two pieces of liner which you've already sewn together. Place one of your triangular pieces right side up and then a corresponding piece right side down on top of it. Pin along one edge and sew leaving a one quarter inch seam allowance. If you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing but it massively helps out the channel. Once you've sewn your first seam, lay another piece on top and repeat the process, making sure that you alternate fabrics each time. A big thank you to Nadine for requesting this video. If you've got an idea for a video that you'd like us to make, leave it in the comments below. Open up every seam that you've sewn so far and press. Because these are synthetic fabrics, I would recommend test ironing with a piece of scrap fabric to make sure that your iron isn't too hot. Place your liner right side down on the table and then your outer right side up. Line up all the edges, making sure the central seams line up. It's a good idea to pin these first. You want to pin all the way around the centre, down the two sides, and round the entire outside of the fabric, before sewing the whole thing with a one quarter inch seam allowance. When you come to the corners, leave the needle in the down position, lift the sewing foot, turn the fabric 90 degrees, and then drop the foot again, continuing to sew. This will make sure they're nice and neat. Trim off any excess using a pair of sewing scissors or a roller cutter. There are two ways of attaching the bias binding. The proper way is to line it up with the edge of the fabric and sew half an inch away from the folded edge. That way, when you wrap it round, you only need to run one line of stitching on the other side. You can also cheat, simply wrapping the whole thing around the edge of your fabric and then sewing through both layers of binding. This is much quicker, but isn't really the proper way of doing it. Hmm, what to do, what to do? You know what, I think I'm going to do it the proper way. If for no other reason than otherwise, my mother would tell me I'm being lazy. And she'd be right. When you come to the corner, stop sewing at a point equidistant from the seam allowance that you've just been leaving on the other side. For me, it's just under a quarter of an inch from the edge. Leaving the needle drop down, I'm lifting the sewing foot, turning the fabric, and then dropping the foot back down again. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure if this is the right way of doing it, but it works for me. When you've sewn all the way around your tree skirt, 
fold over the first piece of bias binding and then fold over the top piece of binding to leave a nice folded edge. So all the way to the edge, going backwards and forwards a couple of times to secure. Turn your skirt over and wrap the bias around the edge. If there's a point where you've left too much seam allowance, feel free to trim away the excess material. That's better. When overstitching the bias binding, you could opt for a matched colour thread. But I have this lovely sparkly gold thread left over from another project. Now, the disadvantage of doing this is if I make a mistake, it's going to be really obvious. So if you're a beginner, you might want to go for something a little more subtle. It's a difficult decision to make. Hmm. You know what? It's Christmas. Go fancy or go home. Fortunately, with the magic of editing, if it doesn't work, I can start all over again and pretend like it never happened. Interestingly, because I was sewing quite close to the binding's edge, on the other side it overshot the binding completely and became camouflaged in the gold lining fabric. I could lie and tell you that was totally deliberate, but no. When you come to the corners on this side, stop sewing about half an inch in from the corner. Leave the needle drop down and lift the sewing foot. Fold up the other piece of the binding then drop the foot down. Do a couple more stitches before repeating the process of turning your fabric, like we did before. Ah, oh, I think that looks quite nice! Now we just need to make some fixings. I had about 60 centimetres of bias binding left over, so I'm going to fold this into four and I'm going to create some little tabs by folding them in half lengthways and running them through the machine. Hand or machine sew these to your skirt and voila! Your skirt is finished! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please do remember to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing but massively helps out the channel. You get to see more craft videos, I get to pretend that I'm cool, my mum's really proud of me, everybody wins. Happy sewing and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. If you have a moment, here's some more videos that we think you might like. See you next time!